Hello friends, in this problem you have been given an biquadratic equation that is a 4 degree equation and you have to solve for x and the equation is you have x raised to the power 4 plus 1024 this is equals to 0. How will you solve this problem? You see you have a special number 1024 that is 1024. Can you write this number as a power of some number? If you remember, 1024 can be written as 2 raised to the power 10. Or I can write 2 raised to the power 5 times 2. And now if you remember the rules of exponent, that is a raised to the power m times n can be written as a raised to the power m raised to the power n. So with this rule I can write 2 raised to the power 5 and raised to the power 2. So let us plug this and then we will see what we can do. So x4 plus 2 raised to the power 5 and whole square this is equals to 0. Now one term I have in terms of whole square let us convert the second term also as a whole square. So I can rewrite this is x4 can be written as x square and whole square 2 raised to the power 5 whole square this is equals to 0. Now this is written as like a square plus b square. So some terms are missing like 2ab. If you remember the formula a plus b whole square. This is equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab. So let us use this formula. So I have terms like a square and b square but I don't have 2ab. So what we can do is we can add 2ab and we can subtract 2ab. So we will have x square whole square. This is 2 raised to the power 5 whole square plus 2 times a and in this case a is this term and b is this term. So 2 times a times b that is 2 raised to the power 5 this is multiplication and since I have added this term I have to subtract this term. So 2 times x square minus uh, this is into 2 raised to the power 5 is equals to 0. Now this whole thing is nothing but a plus b whole square and in this case a is x square and b is 2 raised to the power 5 and 2 raised to the power 5 is nothing but 32. So we can write this becomes x plus x square plus 32 whole square minus this term is left that is 32 into 2 64 x square and this is equals to 0. Now, now let us take this term to the right hand side so you will have or you can basically factorize this. So now you have a square minus b square if you remember the formula a square minus b square this is equals to a plus b into a minus b. So let us factorize using this formula. So now here you have x square. So this is x square plus 32 whole square and 64 8 square x square can be written as 8x whole square. So now you have a plus b into a minus b because a square minus b square can be written as a plus b. So this is a and this is b. So a plus b that is x square plus 34, 32 plus 8x and times a minus b that is x square plus 32 minus 8x this is equals to 0. So now you have two possibility either the first term is 0 that is this term is 0 or this term is 0. So you have two quadratic equations separately and you can solve this two to find the value of x. 
so let us take the first case so in this case we will have x square plus 32 plus 8x is equals to 0 so this means this is a quadratic equation where a is equals to 1 and b that is the coefficient of x that is 8 and constant term that is c is equals to 32 and now if you remember the roots can be given as x is equals to minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So if you use this formula this is minus 8 plus minus b square is 64 minus 4ac so 4 times 32 and this divided by 2. So basically you have x in this case is minus 8 plus minus 32 into 4 is 128 and 64 minus 128 is minus 64 and this divided by 2. So you can write this is minus 8 and this is plus minus 8i because now this is a complex number minus 64 root of 64 is 8 and root of minus 1 is i so now you can write as a form of complex number so in this case you will have two roots minus 4 plus minus 4 i and both roots are imaginary so there are two roots and these two roots are imaginary now since this is a quadratic equation you should have four roots let us consider the second case that is case 2 and in this case you can see this is x square minus 8x plus 32 is equals to 0 and in this case you can say a is equals to coefficient of x that is minus 8 and b is a is equals to coefficient of x square that is 1 b is equals to coefficient of x that is minus 8 and c is equals to constant term that is 32. So what will be the roots? So you can say the roots is x is equals to minus b that is plus 8 plus minus b squared that is 64 plus 4 into 32 that is 128 and this divided by 2. So this is 8 plus minus 64 plus 128 basically this will be negative because minus 4 AC so this is 64 minus 128 once again minus 64 and this divided by 2 so you will have 8 plus minus this is 8 I divided by 2 so in this case you have roots are 4 plus minus 4 I so you got four roots two roots are minus 4 plus minus 4 i and another two roots are 4 plus minus 4 i so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy please share with your friends like this video and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video and i will see you in the next video thank you